In life, sooner or later, we have to fight our own demons. And 40 years ago, Carrie Quashen exactly did that. You know, I've been, I've been in treatment now, gosh, for 40 years. What happened is 40 something years ago, I had my own issues with drugs and I decided that I needed to get clean. After I got out of rehab, I wanted to kind of pass my experiences to other people so they didn't have to go through some of the crap that we have to go through when we're using drugs. And it's been my life passion now for, God, 41 years. After 40 years of sobriety, Kerry takes a look back on what caused him to use substances in his life. Because I had a father that was an addict and we moved back and forth from New York and stuff like that. There was a lot of violence in the house and I got caught up uh, at a young age in alcohol and drugs and gangs and that kind of stuff. And um, there comes a time when I was about 25 years old and I just had enough. You know, it was, I was tired of being sick and tired and uh, life was not very good and uh, I needed to do something different fast. With achieving the biggest victory over in his life, Kerry is still disappointed in the path he chose to take. I made a decision, you know, I knew better. Like I was, somebody said, wow, you got 41 years clean and sober. You should be so proud of yourself. Yeah, I am, but I knew better. I, you know, I watched what it did to my own, my own father and I was like, I should never have done that. And For Kerry and his long battle of drugs and alcohol, it pushed him now to become the president of Action Drugs and Rehab Center in Santa Clarita. And would like to send a message to the people about their newest battle of drug yet, the battle against fentanyl. Every time you use today, you're playing Russian roulette. And it's not with one bullet, it's with two bullets. You don't know what you're buying. Chances are everything on that street is going to be fentanyl. Um, it's not worth playing with, man. It's a game changer. And for any parent out there that used to think, hey, it's a rite of passage for my kid to get high, it is not. For Kanye's News, it's a rite of passage into something terrible. I'm Andres Sosa.